So what exactly is credit? What is it and why is it so important? A simple definition of credit is using borrowed money to pay for something, anything. Credit can be as simple as a person charging a new pair of shoes on a credit card or as complex as a government borrowing billions to fund a budget deficit. A budget deficit is a slick way of saying a government spends more money in a given year than it collects in taxes, which in the United States has happened in 45 of the last 50 years. But before you criticize, remember, beginning in the 20th century, the U.S. used a deficit spending model for economic growth, and it worked pretty well because the U.S. has enjoyed dominance as the world's leading economy for nearly 100 years. But look out for China. Let's scale down and look at how credit works on a more personal level, like the pair of shoes. In order to borrow money, a lender, usually a bank, faces the risk that the borrower won't be able to pay them back. In order to manage this risk, the lender will make it a point to learn as much as possible about the borrower so they don't encounter any surprises. Think about it. If someone has to borrow money from you, what are some things you'd want to know? You probably want to know the person's full name, their address and phone number if you need to contact them. You'll want to know if they have a job and make a decent income. You'll also want to know who else they borrowed money from and if they repaid those debts as agreed. Lenders want to know the same information, much of which can be found in a person's credit report. A credit report is a document. It lists a person's track record of paying back debts, kind of like a report card for how well you pay back your bills. One thing to remember is credit is not a bad thing. Credit enables families to purchase things like homes, vehicles, and other expensive items most people could never afford to pay cash for. As mentioned earlier, credit has fueled much of the economic growth in the United States because our government and corporations use credit, or borrowed money, by selling bonds to investors. Investors purchase the bonds which pay interest, just like you or I will pay interest if we borrow money to buy a new car. The key to using credit is to know when to use credit, when not to, and how much credit to use. When the credit system works right, it makes everyone happy. Borrowers are happy because they get to have new shoes, homes, and whatever else they want. And lenders are happy because they make money from interest while borrowers pay back their loans. As the money is repaid, they loan it out again, over and over, like a wheel that keeps on spinning. It's all about balance. Learn to use credit when it makes sense, stay clear of credit when it doesn't, and enjoy the ride.